Okay. We are live. Uh, jumping right into turn one. We have seen a. We are seeing unicorn versus dragon. Um, unicorn on first player. Uh, Getting a charge off, it looks like. Uh, getting a win first conflict. Ooh, down to five honor though. Probably one, yeah, one bid from not fragile here. And we see not fragile has his conflict. And we see Moto Chagatai going into having having another go at Manicure Garden. Okay, now we're up to scratch. Up to date with the game. Uh, wins but do not break is one off. Play spoils of war. Second one, he's playing Spyglass as well. Interesting. Scoring a captive audience. Yeah, that's probably reasonable with uh, his honor solo. Oh, we saw, saw a mountain from uh, Fragile Lot. That's why he didn't defend. Uh, I mean, he didn't attack. Uh, oh, and this is on Seeker of Water as well, so probably an Endless Plain somewhere. That would be juicy. Let's zoom in some more, maybe. That's probably all right. So we see Unicorn get the favor up on cards, but and uh, because he got that airing, he's has a decent amount of honor here. I mean, a a die show here can be quite problematic, but still. Ooh, fragile finding a swordsmith and days is probably gonna buy out all these characters: two maidens and a honest challenger. On the challenger, just a tutor here probably because fragile is not gonna be anything else but one. This entire game, I think. Yeah, bit of a rocky start here from Unicorn. Buying Shagatai probably. Let's see, with one fate, yeah, and then he got duel and died. Fragile probably on uh, Reprieve as well. We see... Ooh. Some higher bids here. Dazed on 2 and Fragile on 3. So currently Challenger is active, but... Um, there's probably gonna be some jewels to change that bid, so... Um, uh, it's probably gonna go down to a 2-2. Two -two. Pretty soon. We also see the investigator here. That's a really good find from Fragile to uh, because he's down on cards um, to get the disparity a bit closer together. If that makes sense. 
Mm. The one bid, uh, the problem with the one bid is, of course, you don't have enough cards uh, most of the time. But if you discard your opponent's cards with like the two in key investigator and this air, uh, earth ring, that's not so much a problem. Oh, we see along the river of gold in the row for this seeker water unicorn. That's an inter interesting choice um, because. Uh, Unicorn, of course, and HMT, uh, even more, is a very military-focused deck. So I guess River could help you defend on... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, on political. Because you see these six threes. Yeah, you can switch those to three sixes. And also, uh, if your opponent plays like Rally on the Stronghold, and they switch it to political and you don't have a captive audience, you just played one. Uh, you could, as I said, switch these big military dudes into political powerhouses. But now he decides to use captive audience to flip a conflict into military. Which is probably a good idea. So uh, that means that he decides what card is discarded pretty much. And he's also not going to lose this province. Because if he would have kept it at Politicon, uh, Fragil would have taken a look at his hand and decided uh, to discard any other card and kept the audience. But instead, uh, he played, played captive. Though he's losing two honor here. And a card from the Earth Ring. Uh, and I don't think Fragile really cares about provinces here. I think he's okay with just keep beating this river of gold here what did he find with the swordsmith? Goombai, okay cavalry reserves to move in Moto Chagatai, ooh that's a really good cavalry reserves actually because now we can use the Encampment to ready Mr. Chags. And then go break some faces, I think. Probably gonna go with um, maybe the Chen, keeping the Chen. Um, hmm. You would probably like to go water or void to get, yeah, water. Uh, to give the maidens their bonuses but he also needs a character to sacrifice to get the second conflict so he probably needs a conflict character here like an ambusher or a yuchi wayfinder to sacrifice because you don't really want to sacrifice shagatai here uh, because of his uh, ability he finds meditations <laughs> well then then he can sacrifice the challenger all day If he wins this conflict, that is. Route! We see a route! Wow, that's a card I haven't seen in a while. So I'm guessing he is not on Lion Splash then. Probably... Seeker Water? What splash could that be? This could be anything, right? I know, I could look up the deck list, but I'm too lazy to do that. I want to watch the game instead. With some high octane action with Route. That's actually a great route because he is on the water ring. So that Hitomi is loud and the promise is broken and he gets the sacrifice and he gets the bonus on the battle maidens that will probably not uh, matter though because there's still Chags. Yeah, big turn from uh, Days. That uh, defensive cavalry serves there. And the captive audience. Really clutch.
And right now the Dishonored strategy from Fragile is not working out. He hasn't found any Daishus and Hitomi is probably gonna leave play unless he has a reprieve here. Day is not taking any chances here. Going for the airing. Full on face smash with ever everything. There's a fight on, sure. It's still not enough though, he still has to play more cards. Days could also have gone fire this conflict. Uh, uh, one reason for the fate and also to honor Chagatai to make it easier to break in his third conflict if he gets a break here. Which he will probably. Because, ooh, Fragile forgot to use Manicure. That's uh, really dangerous against the Unicorn because, of course, of Shinju Ambusher. You really want to use your promises as soon as possible if you can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this matchup can be uh, really rough for Dragon. Um, if they don't get a hold of you in, your f in the first turns. Uh, that's gonna be real rough. So we see the duel here. Just wait a second here. It was. Oh, yeah, he used Ralph, yeah. One to one. We're gonna see a bow on the maiden. We're down to a low. Probably gonna see bow, oh, Shinya, I'm sure. Okay. Going down to 11, so it's not breaking currently. Ready for battle. Oh, he's on Lion Splash. Okay. This is a really interesting deck, actually. Yeah, I want to have a look at this, actually. Uh, come on. see here here it is chili taste let's have it loading in the background while we watch the game oh yeah we have to do this very professional of me to jump back and forth all the time. Okay, so two Legion of One, two Ready for Battle, two Strength Numbers, and two Routes. Wow, okay. Two Breakthrough. Wow, this deck is amazing. Two Warm Welcome as well. One Altar Sarne, Outskirt Sentry. That's interesting with like zero movement except for Honest Challenger. Yeah, we'll have a closer look at this after. Hey, Tenerim, thanks for the raid. Uh, we're watching a super spicy unicorn deck here uh, from Days against this Dishonor dragon. Uh, Days uh, playing for Chile and Fragile for Greece. So I guess the diamond muse goodbye on, which means that Dazed is not breaking right now. He did have to discard the fan, but that would have gone away at the end of turn, unless Fragile has a reprieve. See Dazed with the Bonsai. Can Fragile return the Bonsai? 
He's played one already. Fragile passes. Oh, that's a break. But it is an airing. It is not the firing. So Shagatai will still be on three political. I don't know the province lineup for Fragile because, as I said, I'm too lazy to look up the deck lists. But there is a chance that there will be a province with more than three strengths in the row. We saw meditations at the five province, so that's not um, resto. It could be a polling authority. It could be shameful display, though. It doesn't look like this dishonor. Okay, so why did he bid one first turn then? That's super weird. Well, well you could play dishonor without watch commanders, but uh, no dice as well. Why did he bid one first turn? Wow, that's. Uh, that's really brave against Unicorn, uh, giving yourself such a handicap first turn, not going for Dishonor. And the one bid at the same time. And it do does find uh, Shameful here, so this is probably going to break as well. Ooh. Yeah, if you're not going, if you are going for Dishonor, you probably want to bid one as soon as possible against Unicorn. But if you're not going to Dishonor, why would you ever go... With a one bid. Is a fight on Kintsuki Investigator? That's a good fight on actually. Because otherwise, uh, this game would have been uh, kind of over, probably. But now he gets to defend this uh, shameful display actually and get the trigger. Unless uh, they place another sh uh, ambusher. Warm welcome to play Captive Warriors. There's the warm welcome. Oh, that's great. That is so great. Changing it to a military. We can still use Shameful here. Yep. So it's not breaking yet, but there's probably gonna be some other force pump from Dazed here. I love this deck from Dazed. I want to play this deck. I mean, I would make some changes, I think. But um, <laughs> it seems to be working for him. Really well. And there is an ambush here. A bit late. Um, but nonetheless, there he is. He would have played all those cards anyways. Oh yeah, he, he, did, he, he did have to play the Captain Warrens first because of uh, the Investigator. So that was the correct sequence, actually. There's probably gonna be a third break here. And he gets the favor again. Unless Fragile can uh, make some magic happen with his five cards in hand. Because of that bid one first, I, I don't really get that first bid, bid one first turn. But um, we, I lost my game. Uh, we all, uh, Sweden lost all our games uh, round one, so we, we can't really uh, blame anyone. Uh, talk down on anyone who has done better than us, I guess. But right now, he is in a bit of a pickle here, Fragile. Only a honored Kitsuki Investigator. Not the best defense against the uh, Unicorn right now. I mean, we win and lose as a team. Either we go 0-7 or 7-0. No way in between. Oh yeah, he had the reprieve for the Hitomi. That's kind of big, actually. Uh, bow out some... 
small characters from the unicorn. But no dice shoes. Hmm. That's a okay flop from Fragile actually. Um, Retsugu and the Shigen Doom Shigenya. But we see the Nergui and a Child of the Plains from uh, Dazed. Mm. What is under the stronghold? I have to watch, uh, check what's under the stronghold for Fragile actually. That's kind of interesting. Uh, where is he? There he is. While they do their dynasty purchases, under stronghold for Fragile is Revels. Midnight Revels. So that is a blank province. That's really rough for Fragile, actually. So we're probably gonna see the Nagui is fragile and in cloud of mine. He is three elves. Yeah, uh, Dazed is going all in here. No fate on his characters. Fragile going with two fate on Ritsugu. Yeah, he has to. He has to. Keep himself in this game for a couple of more rounds to win this. If it's not, if it's not going for dishonor, uh, that is. When is not fragile learning himself to reprieve? Yeah. yeah. Do we see another one bid here from not fragile? No, five five. Yeah, that one bid first turn. Ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch! I scratched my cards. Oh no, that was bad. I was playing with my cards, and there was like grain stuck in between two of those. Ah, oh, that's bad. Ooh, those are some ugly, ugly scratches. Oh well. Back to the game, I guess. So five five. Uh, conflict phase begins. Probably gonna see a cloud on Nergui before the conflict. If he has one, oh, only has one fate though. Hmm. He's gonna have to spend that fate wisely here. I mean, uh, yeah, Cloud is not, probably not uh, that big of a deal because he will probably defend with Investigator as well. And that's only one military strength that Nergui sends home. Spyglass on Nergui. Do we see a let go? Probably not. We see a let go, okay. Taking any chances here? It's fragile. Days doing some mad calculations here. I mean, it's gonna be a uh, hard. It's gonna be hard for him to actually get through this. There's right two on three, and there's six, eight, ten, thirteen. There's thirteen strength plus six. He has to get up to seventeen with a 
child and ambusher and an ergui and he played zero fate on him yeah if he has a cover surf that's uh let's see that's six that's 12. that's not enough plus a bounce side at 16 and like if he has a bounce side and a curve blade sure that would be enough but yeah it's gonna take a lot here for days to actually get through this do we see a yeah there's and there's also three defend your honors on the dragon side that he has to get through yeah this is gonna be really interesting is he going for the poke here if he goes for the poke i don't probably no he's going all in why stop smashing face when you're already doing it? Yeah, that first turn was a bit rough. He played Shagatai with one fate, who then got dueled uh, with the Miramoto Dojo. So he died, and he didn't break the problems, even with a charged uh, Minamikaze regulars. So yeah, that was a rough turn, uh, first turn for Dazed, even though Fragile bid one first turn. Yeah, if he doesn't break this, there's probably going to be uh, a rough next turn for Dace. Because, yeah, Fragile has to defend with everything here. So it's probably safe for this turn, uh, Mr. Dazed. Unless there is another mountain here. Which, which there probably is. So 14 to 6, we see a strength in numbers on Retsubi, that's a great strength in numbers actually. And no defender honors from Fragile. That is interesting. Has he not drawn any defender honors? He runs 3, that's pretty unlucky actually. No, Jade goes down on Hitomi. Only one mountain, okay. Uh, but yeah, but now uh, Retsu is sent home, so now we can attack if he survives this. But it looks like Dazed is really going, gunning for it here. He played his strength in numbers, so now he really has to, really has to go for it here. That was Fragile's last fate though. Which means that cards like. Like. Uh, Cloud of Mind. Reprieve. Are gone. Oh, he plays Pulse Debate. Okay. We might see Pulse Debate here then. Well, then I probably would have played it already, right? No pulse debates and no defend your honors. A deck with a low dueling might be one turn one. Yeah, I guess. If you have a decent starting hand, sure. But you also need those cards uh, to be able to duel at all against Unicorn because there's stuff like Mr. Shagatai if you go up against the Shagatai turn 1 and they buy him uh, I would be uh, uh, very hesitant to bid 1 there because you're gonna need those Katanas and those Bansais to duel him but uh, it worked out for him so I'm probably wrong and now it looks like he is defending this conflict as well. 
pretty well. 6 to 11, so in. Uh, ooh, we see a charge here from Dazed. Is there going to be a defender on her? No. Just let him miss through. 11 to 8, there's going to be a, at least a bonsai or a curved blade here to get Dazed up over the threshold for winning here. But still, winning but not breaking. And keepers. And there's this on Seeker. Yeah, I thought this was just going to be a, a super stomp from Unicorn. But yeah, as you said, that first turn. Uh, that slow start uh, really hurting him here. And now... It looks like Fragile is gonna get back into this game. Yeah, he wins this conflict. So that charge was, uh, I mean, not uh, useless because he gets this. Uh, he gets his border rider. How many defend? What do you call it? Phyton, three phytons, Okay. So there's one Phyton left in the deck. No honor though. Uh, no fate. My girlfriend just texted me. One moment. Oh, I want to keep charging my phone. Please. Yeah, if Hitomi finds another reprieve, which he probably... Uh, I mean, he can't have a save because he has zero fate. So that Hitomi is gonna go away. And there, there's no fate in the rings. Yeah, we see a water conflict here. And a break. Can I please get my phone to charge? have this really cheap charging cable that, don't, that just wants to charge when in a certain position. And I have the chat on my phone, so I kind of need it. But yeah, there's going to be a break here on River. It's probably going to ready hit to me. Please charge, please. There we go. No. Yes. Yes. There we go. Okay. So red is hit on me. I mean, they might as well attack here. Uh, both to feign a another captive audience. Because he did shuffle one in with one welcome. Oh, it's on the bottom of the deck. Okay. But it does run three, I think. No, only two. Okay. So no captive audience, but just two. Um, to get a ring. Because uh, Hitomi is mm, just gonna roll over this board rider. Probably not gonna see a defense here. Nope. A court games to Dishonor. Ooh, this is gonna be... <laughs> Might be a dishonor victory after all, actually. Because Unicorn is gonna down, go down to 4, and then. Oh, we see a court games from Days. He runs court games. Okay. So maybe not a dishonor victory. He 
This game takes exciting turns all the time. I'm probably gonna. I just want to see the. Yeah, there is an endless plains somewhere around here. Let's see if he finds it. He does have a finger of J though, so it's all right. He finds fertile fields. Probably happy to see that. And instead of. Oh, that was actually the worst, worst province to find, because that was the only one that did something. But still, it's a break and an earth ring. So there's fertile fields along the river gold. Uh, there was meditations, endless plains, and ancestral lands on the stronghold. Last province for fragile is appalling authority. Discarding assassination, probably not going to use that anyway, so that's a okay discard for Unicorn. But now he's down on cards because he burned uh, both that string to numbers and that charge into that uh, stronghold conflict. Which actually meant that, uh, yeah, that strength in numbers really. Uh, Hurt him because he sent that Retsuga home, which netted Fragile two breaks here. Yeah, you have to be careful with these send homes because, yeah, you're sending them home, they're still standing. One of the arguments for going with Covert instead, I guess. Okay, new flop. We see. Oh, proving ground is going to be big here. And the alchemist, a Kitsugi investigator, and an initiate, initiate versus challenger. Oh, a champion, Altan Sarni, outrider, and a yurt. Okay, so this honor is way off now. Fragile thinking about his buy here. Alchemist is a bit expensive here. Uh, investigator as well. He is up on board, he could just go for the initiate, but... Mm, yeah, this is a tough pick for Fragile, it depends on what he has in hand. He has a pretty cheap uh, conflict deck, so he might go with the investigator or the alchemist. Just, I just want to say again, this deck from Dazed, I love it. There's so much fun stuff. There's Warm Welcome, there's Outskirts Sentry, Outrider. Yeah. There's Altan Sarne. There's Rout. Real fun stuff here. We see him deciding to go with the Investigator. With one fate, probably enough here. Dazed going for the honest challenger with no faith. Thinking that it might, this might end this turn. Or just saving fate for another cavalry reserves, perhaps. He's played one. See the initiate buy as well. That's probably an okay choice because it's probably going to get passing fate. Probably gonna be a outrider by here, or maybe Alton Sarnay to defend with. Um, no, just the outrider. Okay, uh, pass from Fragile. Does he flip the yurt now? No, he passes. We see a bid from Fragile. 5 to 5. So now probably Fragile has uh, dug down to his Defend Your Honors and his Policy Debate as well. So there's going to be a lot of discard and not so much happening event-wise from Dazed, I think, this turn. 
and also that favorite, uh, what do you call it, proving round. Gonna be great here. Also, to keep in mind, Dazed only has 10 minutes left on his clock, while Fragile is, Fragile is on 24. That could be a factor here, uh, swing the game, even more in Fragile's favor. So we're still in draw phase, Fragile is thinking about something here. Pass, okay. Decides not to do the same. Whatever it was. Probably gonna see a. Ooh, a big political here. Fire. Finding. Meditation on Tao. Ooh, okay. Guess we have to say goodbye to that second investigator as well. Maybe a bit greedy to buy him with just one fate. Because you know there's a meditations on the opponent's side. Uh, but uh, maybe he needs uh, his fate for Scorch in hand. He probably has a reprieve by now. And another fight on. Maybe a conflict character. Okay, going with both investigators here. He can only do one discard. But I guess he has to make sure this breaks. Unicorn will not defend though. Could have defended with the challenger. Oh, there's no dual target. Okay, never mind. Uh, I was thinking he could uh, harpoon in Resu, but challenger is too strong <laughs> for these courtiers. So meditations trigger. Investigator putting fate on water. And now he gets down into the think tank. Uh, not for long though, finding the cavalry reserve. So we see Bansa. Oh yeah, there's a breakthrough as well. Curved blade, route, a third route, right? No, a second route. Shunyamusha, Spoils of War, and Spyglass. And we see the break, firing probably gonna dishonor the Outrider, honoring Retsugu instead, yeah, to make sure that he has Defender on our line. Now, do we see a, a conflict here from Dazed? Probably. Tattered Wonder on Raitsugu, preemptively, okay. Probably gonna use the box first thing here, I guess. Curve Blade going on to the 
Challenger, okay. So it's going up to five. And a spyglass and the Outrider. Hmm. Ritsuga's going up to 6 though with the, the box trigger, which means that he's going to be over the challenger, and when he plays Bonsai he's going to be defend your honor. Hmm, interesting choice to play the curved blade first here. Maybe fishing for a let go, but uh, so he could play the spyglass as well. Trying to find some answer here. Going with just the Outrider, okay. Yeah, it was just to bait the let go. Getting one Spyglass trigger here. He has the fate to spend it. Um, so that's alright. Because we might see a defense here, maybe? Maybe not. Damn, misclick. What was the misclick? Ooh. Always sad to see misclicks. What did he miss though? Uh, what am I missing here? What did he miss? Hmm. Well, we see a defense here with Ritsugu to draw some cards. That's kind of dangerous, actually, unless he has a def uh, fight on here. Because there's gonna be a challenger going with the second swing here. Yeah, he has to have a fight on for this defend, this defense, to be uh, justified. I think. See, a forbid from fragile just to make sure that he wins the conflict and gets the draw. Get out of here soon, too. What? Hmm. Oh, Indomitable Will. Okay. Yeah, that works. That certainly works. I missed that card. How many does he run? He runs three Indomitable Will. Wow. Oh yeah, and the covert on the challenger. Yeah, this is, looks kind of rough for the unicorn player right now. That indomitable will. And he has the plus two strength for the break here. And even if it doesn't break, he gets to bow the challenger. And gets to keep the right Sugu for next turn. Yeah, and it only has one card that we don't know what it is. And it has to be a conflict character. Right? Did he have a charge? 
Uh, no charge. Yeah. This has to be a conflict character. Yeah, <laughs> and it is a conflict character. It's an ambusher, so he's not breaking anymore. Policy debates. Draw some cards. And discard the Bansai properly. One to one. Discard curved blade instead. Okay, maybe it doesn't have enough to break here. He does. Oh, because he has to defend your honor for the bonsai. Okay, yeah. Probably. Bonsai, and we see. Yeah, there's the defend your honor. Yeah, this is game. Wow, that was a big swing for Fragile. Uh, well played. So Greece takes this game over Chile. Dragon over Unicorn. There it is. Well played to both players. Um, and yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone that uh, came here. And thanks to Tenerim for the raid. Always nice to have uh, more people watching L5R. And I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.